married to an entrepreneur is hard work, but it's worth it when it works. You got your hands full every day like I do. You got kids, you got a, you know, a marriage that you're trying to work, you're tr a business that you're trying to make work. And finding time for the kids and keeping it spontaneous. Oh, that was good last night. Oh, <laughs> Nobody teaches you how to manage a business or manage a relationship or marriage. Everybody's just trying to do the best that they can. The purpose of the show is to give you some tools on how to make the marriage and the business work. We don't do a perfect, but we're figuring it out. Hey, welcome, Grant Cardone. Welcome back to... The, the G&E &E show. show. Hey, good to see you guys here today, Wednesday afternoon. Elena, good to oh, see yeah. you. Looking you pretty too. in your Thank blue. You. Okay, blue you got and some. Green. Got yeah. some. You got blue I've got hanging. Blue, lady blue, right there. Are you blue? Yes. You got the blues. Got the blues. A little bit of the blues. Why, baby? Tell me about it. No, I'm only kidding. No, but I've been noticing a little bit of really? difference with you. Well, okay? because the last couple of nights, my, you know, Sabrina's not sleeping well, and I'm having a really hard time getting her back to bed. So, do, do you have it these worries me because I feel like I'm being a little too strict, and I'm trying to find the right way to get her to go to bed without having me to lay next to her to fall asleep. And I'm having so you got difficulty. the blues. I've just been up. You're like depressed. in the last, I'm You're not depressed. depressed. I'm not depressed. Are I you just, tired? I'm, I'm a, probably. You're a looking little a little tired. tired. Well, thanks a lot. Jesus, what is this barrage me today? Hey, this is Grant Cardone. This is at Elena Cardone. Our phone number here is 305 865 8668. We're going to be talking about a topic today that every three letter topic through every human being on this planet. What are Let's we talking talk about? Let's talk about today? sex, baby. Sex. Let's talk about you and me, baby. Because you know why we're talking about it today? Because this is part of your relationship. Actually, I'll tell you exactly why we're talking about it what today. Is because I look at that. They're so pornographic oh. around here. Lord have mercy. We're talking about sex. Okay, we talk this about is money why here. We're Hang talking. on a second. We talk mm -hmm. about career and we talk mm -hmm. about when the two collide, when your business collides with your relationship and one of them suffers. We don't want that to happen to us. We don't want it to happen to you. So every week on Wednesdays af Wednesdays afternoons. Yeah. At, at 1, 1 p.m. Eastern this Standard This is the show time. we do. It's called the G&E Show. If you have a question, you can hit us on Twitter, hashtag G-E Show. What is this, by Call the way? Call us. I'll tell you in a second. Call us 305-865-8668. Do you know anybody that quit having sex with their partner? Yes, this is why we're husband, having this with whole their show. Loved ones? Have, because do you know anybody that's moved out? They've been married for years, and now they live in separate house, uh, separate bedrooms. Yes, do you know a lot of people like that? I know a couple. I know my parents in the latter part of while well, they were, they don't even live in the same home anymore. My father's in an assisted living, but the last probably eight years of their marriage, they lived in separate do, bedrooms. Do, Melinda Barrett's with us today. Do you know anybody that lives in separate, m married? It starts off snoring. She does too. Yeah. Because me and you have been living in separate rooms lately. That's yes, why this came up. Yes, but do you want to tell the story? Why? Tell the story. Tell the story. Because... Every woman out there can relate. We have this beautiful, fancy headboard, okay? It's cloth. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. You know, we're renting this house. It was. It's part of the, the condo. Anyway, uh, there's been an infestation. It's made of wood. Of damp wood termites. The termites have been living okay? there for a year and a half, and they uh, just they just they, did their they, deal. Then when they decide to swarm out. This was, what, four nights swarm ago? Out, yeah, or longer at this point. They come out in the hundreds and then the thousands, and the they thousands. swarm out. In and our like, bedroom. Like, I, I mean, you just have to Google these things. They're, like, it is, and, it is and they're little so worms. They look disgusting. like little worms, and oh they're dropping God. their and wings. Shed, oh. And Elena's freaking out. I'm like, baby, there's only one worm in this room that you need to worry about. <laughs> and it don't have wings. <laughs> but it wants to fly. Mm -hmm. It wants to fly. So anyway, we had the headboards <laughs> removed, okay? So they came in. They took the headboards out. But, you know, after you see what you've saw, you know, seen in the room, like, there's no... There's no, like, getting over that. So I have been sleeping in another bedroom for the last several nights. But so, I came back last night. So, look, I ventured back. I didn't leave. I didn't leave my own room. I cleaned the stuff up. It's out of there, right? And I'm like, I'm and, not and, and then it had, it, had, it, had, it had termite feces, you guys, that looks like mounds of sand, okay? I mean, it is, it is and, and, and then the termite person told me they eat wood, they poop wood. So it's actually these feces wood poop. 
poop balls. Who can go back and sleep in a bed that was be- below this headboard that had like poop balls of I, termites? I slept there the same night. I never even left. Yeah, that's because you and, and I are vastly different. Anyway, that's, how is it? Let's get back on this. Like, no, who wants no, to talk no, about no, sex no, after freaking damp wood termites? The reason I'm talking about it is because you. It's not use, a romantic topic. You use that as a reason to move to another room. And for the last four nights, we've been sleeping in separate rooms. And what do I tell you every night? Don't leave, baby. Yeah, I'm like, oh, don't, yeah. I'm baby, don't leave. I need baby. you. I need, uh-huh, I need your uh-huh. body. And then she comes and in. And then he could come into no, the other room with me. She comes in in the morning. She comes in in the morning and talks about, oh, my God, I slept so well last night without you mm. there. I know that I should, you know, that's part probably some date I didn't need to like share. But I my sleep God, so I good when you're not oh. there, Grant. I sleep so good when you're not there. And so, look, first of all, the bed is so much more comfortable in the other room. Anyway, go on. Do you know anybody that has found a reason, whether it was termites or snoring or the mattress or whatever the deal is? Uh, your, your husband gets up and urinates all night long and then he comes snoring, back and, snoring, whatever the reason okay, that listen, wakes him up. Yes. I am doing a show right now, as you know, called Women in Power. Here, I have another. With Katrina Campins. And when we were on the show, did I bop you in the head? You hit me in the head. I'm so sorry. Oh, my Lord. You see, I'm all like glamped. Anyway, we did this show. Katrina and I were talking. She told me she has a friend who's recently come to her and said that her friend has not had, this woman, has not had sex with her husband in a year. And I'm like, oh, my God, why? Is he cheating? Is he, like, does he have a dysfunction? Is he maybe perhaps homosexual? Like, what's going on? Like, and so we discussed the different issues and the, how, how she feels damaged confidence-wise, et cetera. Anyway, I can't get it out of my head, so I went to you and I said, what the hell is going on with this guy? So that's why we're talking about sex today, because I so want what, this what lady getting laid. What is going on with the guy? With her husband. What is going on well, with the guy? Well, they claim he's very ho- heterosexual, and but he's working all the time, and he's so preoccupied so with all of his work time, thoughts that he yeah. doesn't, he's not interested. But he wakes up at 4 a.m. to go work out, you know, so. What do you think I would tell him to do? You would say, here's the deal, bring folks. it on, ding dong. Here's, here's the deal, okay? If you don't feel like having sex, you still need to have sex with your partner. I don't care if you feel like it or not. You need to have sex. That was my point. Now, listen to me. I'm listening. I don't want to tell you shut up. Yeah, don't do that again. I'm never going to do that, okay? I get excited. You'll get some haters. I'm going to tell you, folks, listen to this, okay? Get your spouse to tune in. If your spouse is not having sex with you, I got a message for them. Sex is like anything. Work, working out, education, going to school, calling on a client you don't want to talk to. Look, you got to do the things you don't want to do. You got to do the dirty, dirty. Including sex. Shoot. Otherwise, why not just be friends? I I don't feel like it. I don't care. I don't care if you don't feel like it. Is that my hand on the back of your head? That's what that is. I don't care if you don't feel like <laughs> you guys like that. that? Okay. I don't care that if you don't feel like wrong. You don't feel like going to work. I don't care. Go to work. You, my kids, I don't want to go to school today. I don't care if you want to go to school or not. Go to freaking school. I don't want to put my shoes on. I don't care. Put your shoes on. You don't want to pay the bill. I don't care. Pay the freaking bill. Mm-hmm. Look, you got to be willing to do the things. And the fact that people separate sex and like, oh, Sex. I need to I, feel I have like to it. Feel it. It's ridiculous. When yeah. we come back, we're going to talk about how you get your sex on. Oh yeah, baby. You want to? T- I want some tips from you, baby, because oh, I heard honey, you got. I got the e tricks. Because in eleven years, you have never, not one time, turned me down. Oh! Stay with us. Don't leave me hanging. interior designer Stephen G is a world-renowned master of contemporary and traditional high-end design. To me, lifestyle and comfort is what a great design project is all about. Interiors by Stephen G has galleries in Florida and New York. 
With staff fluent in seven different languages, Interiors by Stephen G. offers a full service experience from construction to completion. Visit Interiors by Stephen G. at Facebook or his website, interiorsbystephenG.com. That's interiorsbystephenG.com to get started on bringing your design fantasies to a level beyond your dreams. Visit interiorsbystephenG.com today. Are you tired of missing sales? Come on, be honest. Are you getting all there is in the marketplace? Take an honest look in your mind's eye at your sales team right now. Are they doing everything they can to make that extra sale? If you're tired of watching your salespeople be tongue-tied, not follow up, not know their product, not know what to say at that critical moment, welcome to TiredOfMissingSales.com. My name's Grant Cardone. I know your frustrations. Look, whether your people sell over the phone or in person, whether you sell a tangible or an intangible, I can increase the sales of any company by at least 15% guaranteed. Go to TiredOfMissingSales.com and I'll show you the top three reasons your salespeople don't make those extra sales. Go to TiredOfMissingSales.com. We're back. Welcome back to the GNE show. You've got something to show us over here? I'm signing, I'm signing 10X planners right now. Oh, we you love want your 10X, 10X planner? planner. 10xplanner.com. Mm -hmm. And I'll sign it for you. Okay, so we are talking about this hot topic called sex. And uh, a friend of a friend, you know, a friend of a friend, um, is not, her husband is not having sex with her, which completely, I just, I cannot stop thinking about it. So I went and looked online. Who are, who Women's are you? Who Day. Are you? Women's Day. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? What is Your that? Your name's Elena Cardone. At Elena Cardone. Follow me there. And I'm baby. Grant Cardone. Yes, and this you are is Grant the GE show. Yes, and every it is. week we come to you to talk about relationships and business and when the two freaking worlds collide. You got it. And we want you to figure Ten it out. Ten reasons your husband great. isn't having sex with you. By uh Dawn. Oh, I hate these last names. Papandrea. Okay, I probably butchered your name. It's in Women's Day. I did this for my friend whose husband is not having sex with her, and I've got to get to the bottom of this, right? So Cardone, he wants to relax after a long day. He might not realize you're missing him, though, so tell him. How do you feel? How would you feel if your woman had to come to you and say, hey, uh, you know, let's, let's make some romantic time together? Would that kind of make you feel like obligated so look, look, and then not want to have male, sex male, with her? First of all, male or female, here's here's the stable piece of data you need. You need to have sex with your partner. Okay. It is part of a relationship. He, you it need says to figure here, out how to get in the mood. Okay. Make it. He wants to relax after a long day. My well, theory is better this, than is a happy sex ending. not relaxing. I mean, yes, the sport of sex, the sex as I remember is kind of like a sport, right, Grant? Well, but afterwards, isn't it a little relaxing? It, it, so I don't oh, understand I this. I need to relax, you know, after a long day. I mean, I thought. I mean, I it thought that's what sex seconds, does. 10, 20 seconds, and I'm freaking done. You're just like, pop, goes the weasel. <laughs> look, folks. Here's okay, the deal. number you got two. It. All right, look. This hey, is a real concern. Okay. Is this it's the G and E says, show or the E show? It's the E show, baby. Always. Okay, go ahead. Ten reasons your husband isn't having sex with you. Number two, he's reminded of the kids. You think this is true? It says some husbands have trouble seeing their wives as sexual beings once they become moms. Now, I have always heard of this. I've never heard of a man admit this. Does is this really out there? You can call us at three zero five eight six. Five eight six six eight, and let me know. Are you one of those guys? You you suddenly don't see your wife yeah, as a bullshit. sexual this being bullshit. after she's he, he, given it, it, birth to your baby. He's reminded of the kids. Then why why do so many older guys go after uh, twenty year old girls? Because they're not moms. What is the logic here? What am I supposed to be tracking they, they, that I'm they're not? They're going the wrong way. If the kids is the issue, why are they going for young girls? Yeah, well, they're not kids at twenty. All right, so. It says clear up the kitty cues like the toys, the photos, the laundry, you know, anything that reminds them of the kids. Ridiculous. I don't know about this one. I'm Ridiculous. moving on. I've never, you this know. This is woman's day. You know you know the data is going to be screwed up. No, right no, no. Some of it's very legit. Let's well, see what number three. He wants to play video games or watch sports. Yeah. We've actually covered this in the show. 
You want to say something about it? No, I think uh, video games and sports and stuff, it's games. It's fun. It's an it's activity. It's saying, There's look, it's saying here that the men don't like talking face to face. That It's not their natural mode, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so, they, they they don't like the emotionality that the women have about it. So here here look, I'm not going to cover this one long because we've done episodes on this. Maybe women don't depend on your man to make you happy. Find other interests and let him do his little video games and find the right time when y'all can have your time. So don't depend on him for your happiness. At the same time, men. Don't be, like, disrespectful to the woman, okay? Like, if you know it really bothers her, don't do it every day. Maybe just do it once or twice a week. Be a little more respectful, compromise. Moving on. You want to move on? Sure. Okay. I was going to say something, but. Say. <laughs> have your peace of mind. <laughs> what do you say about that one? You have, you have an opinion? Look, if you're not having sex with your, if you're playing more Halo. Or more uh, Call of Call Duty. of Duty, or okay. uh, what now, else now, is there? And both of you have to take responsibility for this mm-hmm. too. Because look, if if ladies, if your guys like games, then you need to keep the sex gamey. Mm. Okay, it, we're it, getting it, to that. Ladies, That's number five. It, if your guy doesn't like sex, no, no, I did that. Guy, guys, if your woman's not playing playing the game of sex with you, then y'all need to sit down and talk about it, man. Here, here's the first thing you have to know: women you, are probably more open to talking about it. Go ahead. Well, not your friend. Your friend's not willing to talk about it. Yes, she is. No, it's she's him not. that's not putting no, no, out. No, you know what your friend's doing? Your friend's talking to her friends about it rather than talking to him about it. She's she, tried talking she to him. She, she's tried. She has not. She's she talking, has tried talking no, to him, according too, to her. She's too busy talking to you about it instead not of talking me. to him about Katrina it. Katrina Campins, women in power. Okay. Okay. Whatever. She's talking to other people but about look, it. But look, I've had this happen hey, to me. Hey, this. Okay. I, 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 Personally, I will I've drop, had this happen. I will drop the seven letters on you if I have to. Oh, geez. What's, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I did that fast. No, that's six. Oh. No, it isn't. <laughs> Oh, shoot, it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, my God. All right, number five. You know, he wishes okay, sex first were of all, more look, spontaneous. It, 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 if, the, if your wife can't count, it should be very easy to have sex with her. Okay. Maybe that's why I've never said no in 11 years, okay? okay I've here's never the deal. been my good wife, at math. My wife is going to sit here and go through some bullshit, psych, psychologically, psychiatric-based, nine no, reasons. No, some of these are legit. Elena, What's wrong Elena, here? Listen to okay. Me. She's going to go through these reasons, and I'm going to tell you, when you're done with all nine of these, I'm going to tell you this. You're not having sex with your spouse because you're not committed to having sex with your spouse. You need to make a commitment to having sex with your spouse. If you can take the fucking trash out, have sex with your wife, okay? If you can go to work every day and call on clients you don't want to call to, have sex with your wife. Ladies, if you're willing Ladies. to take the kids to school, I know you don't want to drive your damn kids to school. What the hell? There's no fun in that. If you're willing to stand in line at Starbucks, if you're willing to go to the grocery store and wait for the lady that doesn't even speak your language to check you out, freaking blow your husband. Okay? That's the fact. Oh, my God. Have sex with your partner. You made a commitment. Sex is part of it. Get it on. Bring it on. Right? right. You agree with that? Yes, of course. We committed, right? Slam it down. I might throw you down right here on this show. Let's just clear this out right here. I don't even need this tequila. No. Okay. Where'd that come from? Okay, so listen, we're we're here to give ah, see, advice, we just make okay? we just we just so, hit radio so for show the, right for there. The people out there that Do you want to have sex? Have hit the status. I want to have some sex. Let's bring come on. it. Oh. Come on, let's populate this planet. Okay? Let's populate, germinate, let's populate activate, chemistrate. All right, so for everybody, I want to have sex oh, right now. Yeah, I'm committed. To my healing. It is getting hot To my in here. healing. Ooh. Oh my God, that's the song. I was like six years old, no joke. And I was like in the hallway singing hey. sexual healing. And I mean, I was dancing. And my mom came down the hallway and she said, What are you singing? And I remember just being so shocked. I was like, I'm singing sexual healing. She was like, Where did you hear that? And I I mean, I remember being devastated. That's a sidetrack because every See, time parents, I hear that song. Because I didn't know I was parents, singing sexual healing at six years old. I heard it on the radio, man. I was jamming. I was so like, <gasps> I thought I did something so bad and so wrong at that because time. Because we've made sex a bad topic in our in our society. Mm-hmm. Sex, well, I mean, it's not appropriate for a five or six year old to be can like I say singing. Something? Can I say but, something? But I mean, the way it came down can I was say so something? harsh. Yes, yeah, say it. The only never, time never you shut up is when I'm freaking having sex with you. 
Okay, look, this is what I want to say to you. We have made sex a bad thing in our society, mm-hmm. number one. Number two, we've made it something that I you're supposed to. I don't agree with that at all. Madonna has worked her ass off, literally, Madonna to ain't make worked in years. sex not a bad thing in this so, number two, culture. Number two, we've made sex. Well, then Miley Cyrus has been twerking it, okay? Number two, we've made sex tied into some emotional mm-hmm. thing. Like, I have to be, I have to in feel it. Mood. I have to feel it. Dude, your emotions are stopping you from doing all the great creative things you can in your life, from work to your relationship. And that's where these two worlds collide. Stay with us. This is Grant Cardone at Elena We're Cardone. We're going to break. 305. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you've ever had not a sexual problem, but a sexual solution. 305 865 8668. Selling is one thing, closed in a transaction is something completely different. If you don't close, you lose. Stop losing. Start closing deals. Make the decision. Discover over 100 ways to ink the deal. Got to be able to ask for the close in several different ways. Your job isn't complete until your customer has taken delivery of your product or service. My job is to help the client make a decision. Call 800-368-5771 for the Closer Survival Guide book and audio package today. Your money is in closing a deal and recommit to your career. Recommit to your profession. Understand the rules of closing a deal. The Closer Survival Guide book and audio packet. Call 800-368-5771. Call 800-368-5771 and start closing today. Follow me up, though, man. I don't understand this. Well, I mean, it, it, I, I, I couldn't really tell you. Y'all don't want my money. Why you gonna treat me like that, man? Why you ignore me? My kids ignore me. My wife ignores me. The doorman ignores me. And then when I go to the blow store, y'all ignore me. Put seven hundred fifty thousand dollars down. What what would the price? What would the payment be on that house? I can't give you a payment, but I can be your realtor. Okay. How long have you been in real estate? Twenty seven years. You can't give me a payment after twenty seven years. I can go on the internet right now, and I can look up the payment if you can't help me. Hello. Hey, I was I was curious if you had a uh, a black M five in stock right now. I do not. Oh, okay. All right. I have a white one. Oh that. Oh yeah. Black. Some like black. Some like white. Um. Thank you. It is an epidemic in this country. It is terrible. It's horrendous. It's awful. I hate it. It's killing me. If you want us to mystery shop you, just call the office. We'll be happy to put you on the list. Hey, welcome back to the G&E Show. Grant Cardone, Adelina Cardone. We're talking about sex today. You guys aren't calling in because you're scared. Scared. I'm going to put you on your sex perm. Mm-hmm. You guys won't call in. I dare you to call in. 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. Turn off your porn and call me and let's talk. That's number eight, by the way. About why you're not having enough sex. I tell you what, so what do you call want to tell me. Us real quick the before first I get person, back to this. The first person that can guess how many times me and Elena have sex on average, oh, per week, Lord. per week, I will give a little, $500 a little to TMI, cash. A little TMI. Okay. okay. 305-865-8668. I'm, I'm giving 500 away to anybody that can guess how many times, not 
we have sex. How many times we've had this sex? This reminds me this of like week. the dating game where we're going to hold up cards and like both of our numbers. If anybody are gonna gets it right, I'm going to we're going to give them the five hundred though. Okay, I'm okay, going to give them out I mean, of your do money. Do we even too. know? I mean, I know. really? Oh, okay. I know. Oh, you I know, know I baby. Know sure. You know. Okay, okay, so I want to cover some of these other thing in Women's Days because I want you guys to go home and I want you to have sex. We'll have the spouse. link on the website too. In fact, I want you to leave your job right now and I want you to go home, grab your wife or husband, and have sex in the back seat of the car in the parking lot of her office today. And I want you to say, baby, I'm here because I love you. Because number five. I want you to hit it. He and wishes then I want you sex to say, were more spontaneous. You. you just hit number five, homie. Dude, when's the last time you did that, man? Y'all get all creative about calling on a client. You get Men, creative when about- a woman dresses up for you, take notice, okay? What, is that That's one of five. them? Yeah, it says right here. It says if he wants spontaneous sex and she dresses up and then he's like, oh, I'm tired, yeah, but shame on you. Here's another one. He has performance anxiety. Now, I know when we were trying to have the first baby. Yes, that was my story. Did you read my notes? No. There when was we, one we, time, when we one had, time in our entire 11 we years trying, where, our, where we had bad sex. Dude, it was it was because we were on this schedule, I right? I was on the, you know, the stick you know, that tells you when you're yeah. ovulating. I was like, baby time, Different right stick. now. And then it was like, oh, it was, it was ooh, she went awkward. From that stick awkward to, sex is it, not good it sex. It was just, ooh, it was, it was so hard, uncomfortable. It was man. like, it was, oh, it was just. Well, it was hard. It's well, always hard. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, however, however, we made a decision. I said, you know what? If we're not meant to have a baby, then we're not meant to have a baby, but we're not going to like put ourselves into no, this. Was, uncomfortable like have to have sex you know if, if, it was it was i know it's the time if we can organically make it happen then let's do it if not let's just take the pressure off because because that was all dude lucy's calling from tampa is this the lucy that used to work with us <gasps> i don't know lucy from talk turkey? to me lucy lucy yes is this lucy from turkey originally from turkey no. <laughs> okay. Okay. We had we had a lady. I love this lady. She was part of our family. She was she was from Turkey. Except anyway, for the first time how she many came times, over, he Lucy, said, "Oh, you're from Bologna," and she started crying. I had to explain to her son that it was a joke and that he liked her. Yeah, <laughs> Lucy. How many times do you think I've had sex with my wife this week? Even though we had the termites, I gave you all that termites, different bedrooms, and all that, and I'll give you five hundred if you guess it right. Oh, I'm thinking maybe about six times this week. Okay. That's not the right answer, but I, but it's a good guess. Oh, okay. I appreciate I appreciate you admiring me so much. I know. <laughs> You're like this guy has some fucking energy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Do you have a question? What do you tell me? Do you know anybody that's having a a, a a relationship where sex is a problem? No, I don't. Nobody. Nope. <laughs> well, Maybe somebody's just not saying. Maybe the sex is good. Maybe all that. Do you have a question? No, I don't. Do you have a comment? She just wanted to guess for the five hundred dollars. No, I just wanted to guess. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, buddy. Are you going to have sex today? Um, uh, maybe. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. Uh, uh, are you in a committed monogamous relationship? No, you're not. No. That would be no. Lucy, so, Lucy. do you know who you're going to have sex with today? Oh no, I don't. Have you ever been in a long-term relationship? Yes, I have. Now, was the sex better in the beginning and then started to wane off later? Yes. Why do you think that is? What what happened? Mm, the same thing over and over. <laughs> it's never the same with us, is it? Never. Has it's it ever amazing. been? It Ten years. Has I it swear. ever been the same? No. I've not. But but I've never had this with anybody else. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Lucy, have you ever been with that kind of man where it's different every time? And no, no. toys. How about that? True though. No. Just magic, baby. Okay. Magic. All right. Let me ask you this. Okay. She's asking you a question. Well, Lucy. Talking You've never had a problem with like uh, a man not wanting to have sex with you, or have you? Mm, no. Okay. Well, then my question is to you, Grant. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so if he does have this performance anxiety, which yeah. that could happen for some men, okay, and then like, okay, so then the girl doesn't want to stress him out. Should she then fake like this better time, or is that cheat? Cheating and kind of deceitful. Like, you know how women are so looked down upon for faking kind of orgasms and stuff? Do you know what I'm saying? Did, did you hear any of what I no, just I said? I mean, we're wrong, we're, we're wrong, wrong, wrong. Do we have a Charlie Brown moment? You, you I need, asked you if a guy is having performance heard, anxiety and the sex isn't top notch, does the girl then kind of pretend like it is so that he's not like more introverted the next time they have sex and dude, what, continue what, to want to have look, sex? Look, the or, answer the answer is always. Or does she just say, dude, that was lame? Are you going to keep asking lame. questions or are you going to just shut up? 
the answer is always the same. You know, if you're with a client that you don't want to be with and your livelihood and future depends on it, what do you do? You dig in. Okay, you dig in and so you she make it work. Fake it then. If you're bringing your kids, is that you, a yes if, or a no? Should if you're she bringing your three year old and your five year old to school and they're freaking hammering on you because that's what little kids do, and you freaking lost it now, you do do you fake it and like act like the good parent, or do you freaking lose your mind and become an idiot? No, you fake it and you act like a good parent Not until you drop answer. them off. Oh, good. Now moving on. Good. Okay. So then the next one I want to handle okay, this one. Does guys really do guys? Let's number just Number eight. Do this I want to really handle quick. number eight Seven. first. No, number eight. I want right, to jump to number we'll eight. Come back to that. Dude, you guys are watching too much porn. Okay, I'm telling you guys. You guys that are have sex problem, you got to quit watching porn so much. Well, listen okay? to this. The volume and variety of images actually can lower male desire and cause. Polly, re- quit watching Ready all for that porn. this? Erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Ew. Okay. His appetite ta- for X-rated material is growing while your sexual activity declines. You want to take I want Tyler to take the from call from Tyler, Wisconsin, because the people in Wisconsin know how to have sex. And you would know this how? Okay. Farmland, baby. Oh, baby. Tyler, what's up? Hey, what's going on? How many times do you think I had sex with my wife this week? I'm going with four. It's the wrong answer, bro. Damn, three. Should have guessed three. Now, well, the first question is, when did the week start? That's that's I, I'm, I go on Sunday every Sunday. Okay, you think Sunday. Sunday's the first day of the week Sunday, to you? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. three days. Okay. That's me too. I, I think Sunday's the first day of the week too. That way, I don't know if it's true or not biblically, but it is Sunday. That way, it's the uh, first day of the no, week. Christians would disagree with you. No, oh yeah, there you go. I hear you. Okay, so hey, bro, what are you in a relationship? I no, I just got out of one. Yeah, how was the sex? It was good. No complaint. Yeah. Either on either end. Why did we either get out end. of the what relationship? You, what do you mean either end? <laughs> Don't get why all did, excited. Why, why did we get out of it? Uh, just the timing wasn't right. You worked every corner, things, huh? Things we both wanted. <laughs> 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 There's no, a door through. there. Is yeah, that dude, a I, door? <laughs> I I actually uh, applied to you guys. What's that? I, uh, call, I actually applied. I applied to you guys, uh, Grant. I called up. Uh, your office one day reached out and I talked to uh, actually Jordan Stupak mm. a little bit. He's from Wisconsin as well. Random, totally random conversation with him. So yeah. it was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. He probably talked to you because he didn't want to make a sales call. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. You leave my Jordan alone. Snap. Well, dude, let me ask you if I call your girlfriend right now, okay, your ex girlfriend, and I ask her, how was the sex with Tyler? What would she say? She said it was, it was good. What's her number? I'm going to call and ask her right now. Not giving it to you. Dude, give me your number right I now, and I'm going to ask. Yes, what's what's his name? What's her name? Grant, that's okay. such a lame What's her name? Jody. Jody, what's her number? I do, Grant, I cannot give that like one. Dude, he, dude, I'll give you 100. I'll give you 100 if you give me her number. No, dude, that ain't worth 100 to what? have that headache. Come on, man. <laughs> you already broke up with her, bro. I just yeah, want to well, know, how was the actually, sex with Tyler? I, I didn't break up with her. She broke up with me. That's good. It's even better. Let's call her. Yeah, no. Come on, not, Tyler. Not dealing with it. She was actually, you know those girls that you, two girls you actually love in my lifetime. I'm 30. I just turned 30. You were in love with her? Them. You were yeah, in love? Yeah, she was one of them. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who's the other one? A well, high school sweetheart back in the day. Yeah, mm-hmm. what was her name? What was her name? Yeah. Kelly. Okay, what's her number? Not giving it to you, dude. That's dude, you're so lame, bro. <laughs> no, you're not. Dude, have you ever had trouble having sex with one of your girlfriends even though you loved them? No. Never. Not like yeah, I don't feel like it tonight. Well yeah, but then you just go do something else. Say, hey, let's go take a bike ride or something, jump on the Harley and cruise around. Uh and then you come home and you then you feel like it? Maybe. Why do you think? Why do you think people start not having sex? Well, if you'd let me do number seven, he's having magic Mike envy, Baby, which means uh, Tyler fat called in. Bellies. Got, do guys have? Do you have a fat belly? Do you have a fat about belly? The way they look, no, maybe they're afraid belly. of jiggling. You're 30 years old. You got a flat belly? Yeah, I'm a shit. All right. Okay, women I'm, out there, I'm, no I'm teasing. Playing. These guys are sensitive too. Yeah, their no, physical I'm, body I'm issues. Shit. What's your What's your biggest complaint about sex? Biggest complaint? Yeah. Uh, when it's awkward. What? Yeah, when what? it's awkward. If it's, ever, we... if it's ever awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I know that one. Like if yeah. like what you just said is when you're kind of not feeling it or she's not, it's like oh yeah, let's just oh, it's yeah, like it, it, let's it, just yeah. stop all the pretense, you know. 
Yeah. Okay. So what do you think about my advice? Have you been listening to the whole show about my advice about, look, you need to bone up. Well, probably Literally, about, right? You need to bone up. <laughs> Pun intended, I'm assuming. And you just need to get your head, you need to get your head right. Get your head, get your attitude right about it. Yeah, no, I, I haven't been watching the whole show. I just saw uh, actually your wife tweet about it, so I jumped on and I was like, I got to check this out for a little bit. Oh, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you calling in, brother. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me. Let's take Rui from Europe. Let's do it. This topic's getting hot. We just need to warm up a little bit. Mm-hmm. A little foreplay. No Rui! Rui, Rui. Oh, Hello. hey. What's going on? Who am I talking to? You're uh, talking to Elena and Greg Marvin Gaye Cardo. and Marvin Gaye. Let's Marvin Gaye here. Hi. I'm watching your show, but there was a delay here. Uh-oh. How's it going? There's Great. A, there's a delay everywhere, bro. Okay, I got it. So, can, can, I, can I answer the question? Sure. Which one? Oh, he's taking the challenge. Okay, what's the question? Go ahead, bro. What you got? How many? I mean, what's the answer? Okay. I Let me just give you a little heads two, up here. Sunday. You too. Since the beginning of this week, I would think on Sunday, have yep. done it at least twice. <laughs> Wrong answer. Damn. <laughs> it's all right, bro. Tell, are you in a relationship, Rui? Rui, first of all, where do you get a name like that from, Rui? Where'd you get a name? Is that your full name, or did they did they miss? My full name is Rui Marcus. Okay, okay. So, Rui Marcus, where are you from? I'm from Portugal. Portugal. Man, I've never been there, but I heard it's beautiful. Has the economy imp- yeah, it, improved it is, there, or is the economy yeah. still in the shitter? Is the economy well, still bad there? I'm sorry? Is the economy still well, let's bad Let's ask about sex. Why are you Portugal? asking about the yeah, economy? The, the, the economy is bad, and uh, we are now uh, trying to get out of it. Yeah, what is the unemployment in Portugal right now? So my friends here in America uh, understand. I don't know the percentage. Exactly, it's over 25%. It's so is this... Uh, very high. It's the highest ever. I know more about your country than you do, Is or really. losing the sex drive? That's all I'm interested in. She wants to know yeah, about your sex. About the sex. Right now, this ain't the Cardone know. zone. This ain't young hustler. This is sex, baby. Are you a heterosexual or a homosexual? Give Louis? it to me. Uh, I'm heterosexual. That means you go either way? No, I go one way, man. Don't get all sensitive, man. All, just because you... Why are you so... <laughs> have you ever experimented... Have you ever experimented... Okay, wait a minute. Let's get serious. Have you ever experimented with the same sex? No, never. Have you ever thought about it? No. You're such a liar. Have you? Honestly, no. Every man and every woman has. What would it be like? Yeah, I, can, uh, I, I, can t- I can tell you honestly that I've been approached and uh, I never thought about it. Dude, dude you're anything. telling me you've never said, oh, no, I would never have sex with a man? Yes, absolutely. Well, never. then you thought about it. Then you All thought okay. about it. Okay? Don't be freaking trying to jack me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right about it. Okay, you're thank right. you. Thank you, brother. So, look, do you know anybody that's in a relationship and not having sex? Well, I would like to get over number nine. Maybe. Is he still Stay on? Stay with the show. Is Rui on? Did you just in a relationship and are not having a lot of sex yet. Yeah. Now, why do you think that is? We have a caller, okay? Because I think the reason for it is not uh, the sex aspect of it. I think it's because the rela- relationship has deteriorated. And yeah. they're not talking too much to each other, and therefore is affecting the sexual life. Yeah. Now, do you think people need to feel feel in the mood in order to deliver the activity of sex? I think people create the mood, honestly. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know. With, with the busy life that most man. people lead nowadays, I don't know how you're going to be in the mood. What do you, you do for home, work? What do you tired, do? For- you have kids. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you come from work, so you, you got to create it. Got to create the mood. Gotta Listen to this man. It. This man, this is the best advice. I'm glad mm-hmm. I stuck around the mm-hmm. show mm-hmm. to get this one tidbit from, from Rui, Rui, Rui from Portugal. Okay. I love Rui, Rui. Rui, how'd you, how'd you run into the show? Oh, I, I'm a big fan of your show. I watch all your shows. I watch the G, G&E and I watch the, you know, the regular show you have and I watch the Young Hustlers. Yeah. What so. show do you like the best? What's your favorite show? Uh, my favorite show is Young Hustler. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Elena? Okay, I like man. this one, too. I like this one, too, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. Elena's really upset with you. I appreciate I you calling you in, man. Do you have a question? Room. Anything else you want to say before we blow out? Uh, well, I would like to know, uh, basically, you offering uh, 100 
Oh yeah, for the dollars credit for uh, on your materials. If you call my girlfriend and ask her if I, if you have great text, is that true? Yeah, but dude, I, I don't want to call Portugal. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, no problem. You know, and we're at the end of the show, so maybe next week. Call in next week, man. Maybe we'll do it next week. I'd love to talk to your your, your girlfriend. Okay, great. I want to nice find out you. how your sex. You want to do that, huh? Uh, yeah, I gotta convince her first. I don't know what, if she's gonna like the idea. But. Hey, what do you do for work? Uh, I do promotion and marketing. Okay. All right, beautiful. Appreciate you calling in, man. Okay, thanks, man. Folks, this is Grant okay. Cardone. This is Adelina Cardone. Every Wednesday, we talk about relationships and love and marriage and when the two worlds collide and what happens and how do you keep it working. We're committed to relationships, we're committed to making it happen. We're not walking away. Even though half the Stick stuff that comes out of her mouth is, full, is, is bullshit. To pay. Half the time she's wrong. Number At nine, least, he's worried maybe 80, about work. 80% of the time she's wrong. Maybe 20% of the time she's got a good idea. It's, it's called the 80-20 time rule. Time to turn 80% the phone of the time your wife is wrong, 20% of the time she's right. stop checking emails. Be flexible. When duty actually calls, because being indispensable gives him a sense of value. Is that what you do at night? You're Dave, like working, working, like I'm Dave, so important. And I always drop this. I'm taking care of us. Uh-huh. Dave from Tampa. Hey, Grant, Dave Cribs. Hi, Elena. How are you? My hey, man, hey, Dave hey. 10X Cribs. Yeah, you know, I was, Dave, I, I just want to tell you something before we get started. I want to tell you you are one of my heroes, bro. Oh, brother. Come on now. No, I'm serious, man. You're a real dude. Oh, wow, yeah. I, I appreciate that. I really, really do. You know, I, I watch a lot of guys jump on my feet and, you know, they, 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 they jack with the me. Walk. Do you walk the walk? You're a real dude. You're authentic and you are who you are. And I, I know I can always get uh, uh, somebody real from Dave Cribb. So talk to me about this sex thing, bro. What, what, well, what, you know, there, there are a few things that I'm, a, I'm an authority on. So, you know, you're talking about sex. So I said, hey, you know, I got to chime in on this to one. call in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the other day... So, uh, let me ask you, when you were younger, sure. you, when, when you would ask a young... Before you got married, okay, would you be like, hey, you want to come to my crib? <laughs> no, I I'm Dave Cribs. You want to come to my crib? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second to catch on to that one, Grant. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, you know, uh, one of the things that uh, when I was younger... And I'll, and I'll certainly make that disclaimer because I'm, I'm definitely uh, happily married right now. Um, but when I was younger, you know, um, I always looked for not the flashy girl. I, I looked for the girl next door. And they were, you know, that was a girl that you could relate to. And, um, you know, it, was, it just seemed like a, like a an Dave, easier route. Dave, you for look me. for the girl next door because it was close. Well, that's true. Yeah, You're like, shit, I could go over far. there and tag that shit tonight. <laughs> Stop person. Wow. Now, let me ask you, when you end up with two houses, do you say, which one of my cribs do you want to go to? <laughs> oh, he's no, on a roll now. Can, I'm as, good at this radio yeah. shit, dude. As you can imagine, I definitely, uh, I definitely get to, to use that last name a lot. But, uh, <laughs> you know, my, I have a question for you guys, and maybe yeah. you can answer, because I asked my wife this the other day. <laughs> I, I, I said, honey, what happens if I have an erection for longer than four hours, but I have not taken Viagra? Do I still have to seek medical attention? <laughs> That's a good question, dude. But I'm going to tell you something. If it lasts longer than four hours, okay, <laughs> you need, your wife needs to go get some attention. Yeah, exactly. She needs hey, to get out of your crib. More, she needs to get out of your crib. All your, all because your show, but that, I that, just... Dude, that would be taking 10X to another level, okay? I got to tell you. <laughs> So, so, if, so awesome. I know somebody one day, somebody one day is going to send a, send me an email with their penis tattooed 10 X. Oh, God. oh yeah. Uh, that's definitely coming, but not, not from here, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> hey Dave, thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. Where can people follow you, man? Hey, follow me at desking deals. And you can also follow my good friend at the unknown salesman with an E as in plural. Okay, good. Love it. Unknown salesman with an E. <laughs> And Sounds if I like called men. your wife, Dave, if I called your wife and said, hey, is, what, he good in, what's it, is he good in the crib? What's it like having, having sex with the cribs? What, she, what would she, she say? Prob- she probably would not say a thing. She wants to keep that under wraps, brother. She does not want to create demand, unnecessary demand. Oh, I love it. Now, let me ask you this question now. One other thing, and I'll let you go, okay? <laughs> do, you think, do you think people should feel in the mood in order to have sex in their relationships? 
um, on a serious note, because I know we've been kidding around a lot lately, yeah. but um, I, I say absolutely not. I say that you have not you have that is something that you owe it to not only yourself but your spouse. That is a gift to your spouse, and that's something that you need to be gift. continually giving. It's a gift. commitment to them. So you think it's better to give than life. to receive? Well, hey, you know, um, we can argue that point in this subject, uh, but uh, but I definitely I definitely think that if you're a giver, especially uh, in your sex life and your marriage, uh, you will not you'll have no shortage of uh, of receiving from your partner. Um, that's that's one of the key things. You heard you, it from Desky Deals and the unknown salesman with an E, David Cribs, a true legend in today's <laughs> times. This is that Elena Cardone. Thanks for calling in, Dave. Elena, take us out. We'll catch you next week on the G&E show. Holla! Oh, my God. She can't end the show. God damn. Okay. Come Steve on, Harvey. Steve Harvey. Radio. Tony Shit Robbins. Show. John Maxwell. Shit. Phil Town. Patrice Washington. Dan Stratton. And Grant Cardone will be in Indianapolis. Steve self. Harvey. Tony Robbins. And Grant Cardone will be in Indianapolis October 17th. November 13th to the 16th, I'll be in Cancun, I'll be in Cancun with you. Delivering the 10X seminar. And we mm-hmm. will be having sex. Oh, baby. We will be, okay? Uh, let's see what else we got, guys. WhateverItTakesNation.com. WitNation.com. Oh, WitNation.com. It's going on fire. It goes live September 3rd. Th- we're going to set this one, nation September on 1, fire. okay? If you haven't September subscribed two. to this channel, you need to. Because what's what's going to happen on my YouTube channel is going to change. If you're commenting here and you're not seeing me reply to you, it's because you haven't subscribed to the channel. And I can't respond to anybody that's not subscribed yet. September 1, we no, will be going two. to witnation.com. Why the is it day two, dude? after Labor Day, homie. Kind of, what kind of date is the second? It just is. September it's 2nd, we Tuesday. will be creating a digital network called witnation.com. It is for whatever it takes, maniacs. You want to be subscribed to YouTube because I'm going to be giving you a, a special one-year offer to become a premier member at witnation.com. There's nothing there. You can go poke around right now, but there's nothing there to look at. Just keep it in mind. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll respond to your Jesus. comments. I'd love to hear how many times you're having sex with your spouse. Take us Sorry out Sorry that nobody got it, okay? Heavens to Betsy. Book your trip to Cancun. At least put it on your schedule. Definitely Book your trip to Indianapolis. My name's Grant Cardone. This is Adelina Cardone. Follow her. She needs lots of followers. The Cardone more followers she has, collection. the better chance I have of having sex with her. You Thanks. got that right.